Hi, my name is Jamie McGregor. We're here at Dallas at the Society for Maternal Fetal Medicine Annual Conference. It's February 1st. I'm here with Gershon Hernandez, who's a colleague from the USC School of uh, Medicine, and he's done one of the most uh, interesting of the uh, abstracts that were presented today. Gershon, can you tell us a little bit about the, the linkage between depression and severe nausea and vomiting in pregnancy? Sure, Dr. McGregor. Uh, our extract, in, in our extract, we found that there were, there's uh, the effect of nausea and vomiting pregnancy on screening for depression. We found that there was an effect on the screening tool so by the severity of MVP. So, so you had a cohort of women with severe nausea and, and vomiting, and you tested it for them with uh, for depression. That's correct. We t tested uh, three separate groups, asymptomatic groups, patients with MVP, and patients with HG, or hyperemesis gravidarum, which is the severe form of nausea and vomiting. And we did find an association uh, between the positive screens and the severity of nausea and vomiting. And uh, the screen we used was the Beck Depression Inventory. Yes. And um, we found that the severity of nausea and vomiting did have an effect on scoring higher. Oh. So patients with HG tend to score higher in the screening test. So definitely they need attention. So you think it's reasonable given the the sequela and the damage that depression in pregnancy can do to actually screen patients who have a hyperemesis gravidarum for depression using the, the Beck uh, or the Edinburgh uh, questionnaire? Well, uh, the problem is that um, some of these screening tools rely a lot on somatic complaints. So, um, of course, the more, the more somatic symptoms there is. Like throwing up. Throwing up, for example, nausea and vomiting, uh, the higher the score is going to be. Now, this does not mean they're all false positives, right? right? It does mean that they're not feeling good, they need some help, but you need to take that into account when you screen uh, patients with high somatic complaints like nausea and vomiting in pregnancy. You need to take into account that the somatic component of the test is going to be affected by the severity of nausea. So this sounds a little bit like common sense, that we would have known this already. So you're suggesting that uh, folks with uh, severe hyperemesis, nausea and vomiting of a pregnancy, uh, may well be depressed and that we practitioners sh should actually uh, be uh, uh, interested in making the diagnosis. And now we know that you don't need to be uh, treated with uh, SSRI or other medications, that actually psychotherapy works just as well for correct. depression. That is correct. That might be the case. Sometimes uh, all they need is, is proper counseling and, and, and acknowledging that they are really depressed or they're not feeling good because of all the symptoms they have. And acknowledge that this is part of the syndrome. It's part of the syndrome MVP. It's, it's, it's something that's real, and, and it's, it's causing an effect on the patient. Well, thank you very much. This is Gershon Hernandez from USC, from the Keck School of Medicine. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. McGregor. You bet.